So let's talk about the user interface and how we can move it around and change it back and forth. It's pretty common when you're getting started with Blender to accidentally press a button, split a window, get a window to disappear, and it's hard to know how to get it back. So the Blender interface is made up of several different windows, and we can add more windows, we can take windows away. Uh, it's 100% customizable. So you'll notice in every window, there's a little drop down button, typically at the top left. If you click on that, you can change the window or editor type. Now, if you do that, that's fine. I can go to say my video sequencer here, and it totally changes the look of what I'm looking at. I can also come back here and go back to my 3D viewport, which is where we started. So if you manage to change the type of window or something's missing, that's a great place to start. We can also add windows. If you go to the edge, the gap right between windows, it can be a little tricky to find. And you can see there that my cursor has split into arrows going in two directions. If I right click, I get some options here. And most notably here are the vertical split and the horizontal split. So let's look at the horizontal split. What that's gonna do is give me a line here and I'm gonna be able to split this window. Notice if I move it over here, I can also do these windows here as well. But let's stay with the 3D viewport. So I might put it in there and now I have two 3D viewports. And you might be asking, why would we do that? Well, sometimes it's useful to be able to have a particular view of a model uh, in one window and maybe over here, I can get another view like so. There's even some built-in functionality to help do this kind of setup and we'll talk about that in a bit. And I can continue to split my windows up here. I can click here, go to a vertical split, and I can split this window into two different windows. And now I have a top down, a front, and a side view, all that I can use interchangeably and go back and forth and see how my model is getting built up. Now it's not uncommon for people to accidentally do this. And so let's look at how we undo this. So I can come to the gap between these two windows. I can right click once again and join areas. You can see when I do this, I get an arrow showing which way we're going to join, which way are we going to effectively, which window are we going to get rid of? So if I click here, we're gonna get rid of that window. If I click here, we're gonna get rid of that window. Pretty useful and pretty handy when you're working in Blender. You'll also notice at the top, there's this layout tab and next to it is a modeling tab, sculpting tab, UV tab. And what these are, these are presets that Blender has given us of different layouts that are typically useful for those sorts of workflows. For the most part, what we're gonna be doing is gonna work pretty well in the layout. Now you might take some time to set up the interface so that it works well with your workflow. Then you then quit Blender, come back the next day, load it up, and all that work is gone, which is kind of disappointing, but there's a way around that. We can go up to File, Default, and Save Startup File. What this does is it saves whatever's going on in your Blender scene right now as the default file. So every time that you start up Blender, that's the condition Blender will be in. This is great if you want to set up lighting, if you want to set up windows, or if you want to start Blender with a particular object in the scene and not just always start with a cube. Another useful feature of Blender's interface is the ability to go full screen with any window. So whichever window your cursor is over, you can make that full screen. And you can do that by pressing Control spacebar to go into full screen mode. And then up at the top left, there's a button to go back to previous. So you can click on that or just press Control spacebar again and you'll go back into uh, the regular interface. If you press Control alt spacebar, you'll get full screen and all the menus will disappear, which again can be a little confusing. Gotta remember to press those same buttons to go back to the regular interface. 